Hello and welcome back to FPL Juice, your place for the latest squeeze of all the juicy bits from our favourite game and yours, the Fantasy Premier League. Contrary to popular opinion, he is still pre-op. It's my good broski, Nick. <laughs> nice. And yes, that was, of course, Ash, a man who is to caps what Gabrielle is to eye patches. Of course, by that, I mean, <laughs> it's definitely covering up something hideous, but we're not quite sure. What. Uh, so, yeah, joining us. Thank you for joining uh, us once more nice. live, if you, especially if you're live with us right now. Uh, so coming up on today's show, we're going to have some dessert themed punditry so as it's in the uk at least anyway it's pancake, pancake day. day so we're right in the mood for some lovely desserts so we're going to tease you and tempt you with some of the best puns of the week yeah lovely stuff thanks nick uh yeah we'll also check in on how our game week 24 teams are doing right now as we're still in that current game week have our teams fallen flat as a pancake or have they risen like a souffle beautiful we will look ahead. Uh, we'll check that out, and we'll also look ahead at uh, game week twenty-five. T Benbrick, evening lads. Hi mate, hope Man you're doing like well. T Thanks Benbrick. for joining us. Um, yeah, then we'll be diving back in for a little segment that I now love, which is Ash Meets World, Quality. which is where I give Ash a little uh, word from commonly used from normal people, Posh and people. he has to try and see if he knows it. And then Ash, of course, gives me a word back in the segment known as Nick in the Hood. Yeah, so man. I'll be uh, representing that. down there and see if we uh, c yeah, can learn a little bit this week. Yeah, we always like to learn a little bit from each other, don't we, mate? It's always <laughs> of course, fun. Of course. Evening, Chris, mate. Thanks for joining us once again, buddy. Hey, Chris. Uh, then it's community team uh, time. We'll see how they're getting on this week. Plus, just like uh, an episode of Take Me Out, we put in the power in your hands. Uh, we'll give you four more transfers to make. Uh, well, we can only pick one, but we'll give you four options. That'd be good. It's Evening, James. Thanks for joining us, mate. High. Yes, Nick. Hey, Man Nick, like Nick see, Khan. Um, yeah, then we'll be checking in with the agent. So, listen, he actually has recently been picking it's... players that have been returning. We've had Harvey Barnes, Cavani when he had that that goal as well. Yeah. A couple of others he's come up with. He, he's definitely on to... Oh, Gundian as well. So, yeah. listen, somehow he's redeemed his reputation. But we'll be seeing who's his next hot pick and should you be jumping on it? Yeah. No, he's been doing well lately. Got to give him some more credit, I think. Let's ever since he joined, ever since he joined Twitter, funnily enough, maybe he's getting some yeah. extra inside info at the Juice Agent. Yes, Aaron, man, like Fantasy Plonker. Hey, mate, good to see you, uh, Aaron. By the way, Fantasy Plonker just uh, just before we came on air, yeah. recorded a really good little interview that we had together, the three of us just chatting away. Yeah, all things FPL. So that'll be going live probably just before the weekend. Later in the week. Fam the noble family in the house. Yeah, boy, come on. The noble lady is still conscious. <laughs> the hypno has not Just kicked about. In Shout out Michael Philander. <laughs> um, then we've got details of the juiciest uh, giveaway in FPL today. Yes. We're going to be reminding you of how to enter the PlayStation 5 uh, giveaways. Absolutely free to enter. Uh, so, guys, we need you to get involved. As you know, it's 1K to play, um, and then we'll give this thing away. So far, we're on 650 five subscribers now i think mm -hmm. yeah so well on the way yeah all going well and then all of that and plus we'll be answering all of your juicy questions juicier than the jiff lemon that you squirt on your pancakes Ooh. or is it sif now is it sif uh lemon? it's sif because section of the public couldn't pronounce j's oh i don't ask me which one i want to lean towards another country. uh eastern european Jeff, my name is Jeff. <laughs> <My name is laughs> <Jeff. laughs> hey, um, hey, Michael. We'll be squeezing everything we can in. Uh, FPL Mogul. Hey, mate. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen like you Mogul. on uh, Twitter. Live viewers incoming. Oh, here they are. Here the South come. African crew. Lion's head. But yeah, Ash. Before we get into all of that, how are you, mate? Yeah, How's I'm feeling. Going? I'm feeling good, mate. I'm You're feeling back. good. You've been a bit under the weather. Just, yeah, no. I've just I've got a couple of days booked off for work now, so. Nice. Feeling like less pressure now, just crack on, just do what I love, do what I enjoy. And let's talk about FPL. Beautiful. It's been a it's been a quite a interesting week because we were just saying before the pod started, um, me and Nick have probably got like three players that are the same. Hmm. Yeah, at one point this week we've literally had exactly the same points. Yeah. Very right? spooky. It's, it's very tight. up it's and very down. Hard to separate us at the minute. Yeah. Not just in a sexual way. Yeah. <laughs> you beat me to it. <laughs> in an FPL way. But, but yeah, other than that, I'm feeling really good, mate. What about yourself? Yeah, wicked. Like you're a bit wicked. tired at the minute. I'm knackered. Yeah, I'm just, just helping my mum and dad move house and stuff, which yeah. has been uh, a really busy few days. God, but they're so lazy. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I've done, done, done all the boxes myself, drove yeah. the van. <laughs> no, <I'm> <laughs> but no, it was, uh, yeah, no. So it's been busy, but rewarding as well. Nice to have him a bit closer to, to me. Um, I should give a little shout out to my brother as well. Talk about these. These are. Yeah. Yeah, by Camden Breweries, Juicy Lagers. Now, my brother gave these to me and said, you and Ash can have these on the pod because it will fit nicely in that orange and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then obviously we had all the lockdown and yeah. then I haven't been drinking through January, but... Well, you have, just not with me. Well, just one day a week. Which makes me feel really upset. Well, I've prioritised my social life. And also I've got to drive here, so I can only I was, have a I was saying this to FPL Viking on Instagram. He was like, I want to have a, have a beer with you guys while I'm doing the, the section on the pod. No, we can uh, do we're that. doing a chat and I was like, well, we're going to have to talk Nick into it because he's, <laughs> he's not even having a beer with now, me at the minute. Now I've broken the back of the weight loss. That's I feel what like talking about. I'll, I'll allow myself a little podcast beer as well as my weekend. What have you, what, what's you got the weight down to now then? Uh, I've lost a stone and a half now. Stone and a half. Hmm. Yeah. Well done, mate. Got to keep going. It's really, really strong. Strong work. You can see it in your face. Shout out, Nick. <laughs> I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, shout out to your brother for the beers. Really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm going to try Ollie. and take it easy because uh, last time I had this much beer, I ended up leaving the pod early to go Lulu. <laughs> the bladder <laughs> of a six-year-old. <laughs> that has always been your problem. But, um, we should mention as well, every week we do roll call. So roll call <clears throat> is where we give out a bit of merch, little FPL prize yeah. to someone. If they say... A certain word yep okay what's the word gonna be so the word is gonna be pancakes of course it's pancake Easy. day so if you hear us say the word pancakes not that yeah but if you hear us say the word pa- not that one even if you hear us say the word pancakes <laughs> type pancakes into the live comments and you will win some fpl juice merch james what are we going to give away this week <laughs> have we got any caps have we got any face masks? We got any hoodies? We've got a t-shirt over there. All hoodie. Right. We'll give a... Um, one hoodie. One, one FPL hoodie. Juice hoodie. Yeah. For the first person. Uh, Chris Irvine ordered the hat. Chris, you're going to get two hats from us because of the delay. Basically, everyone that's expecting some juice merch, you're going to have to wait a week or two it's because our producer's just, it's just lead, isn't it? Like, it's, He's mash up. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, this is turning into some sort of admin for yeah. delivery service. So, enough DPD. Uh, Let's do some punditry. Yes. Should right. We, should we get stuck in? Let's get stuck in. Ash, give me your first pun. Right. So, dessert, dessert based puns. Uh, by the way, shout out Steve Twiggy if you're watching. I know you love this section. Yeah, sorry if there. Um, so, my first one. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go beginner, medium expert again Go on. like i do so i think that this is going to be beginners because i think a lot of people are going to have it yeah okay ballon d'or winner <laughs> yeah yeah all round <laughs> no, no, sick it's... player yeah yeah best in the world arguably eat a messy yeah it was <laughs> why, why am i getting bird <laughs> sounds it was always gonna happen you gotta go outside Postage. the box you gotta go outside the box one. <laughs> no, it's not just to get used to warm you up, innit? You don't just okay. go straight in. Well, I I like you know me. I like to go just a bit left field, right? So I've yeah, got, you're very left field sort of bloke. I've gone Knickerbocker Rory Delap, <laughs> <laughs> the long throw. That's king. all right. Yeah, yeah, I like it. That, that is very, that's nice. that's very left field. What's your uh, intermediate like level? Intermediate. I'm going with that uh, little cake you get from Mr. Kipling. Mm. It's yellow and it's pink. It's a Clattenburg. Mark Glattenberg. <laughs> yes. Oh, a referee shot. Is that yeah, the first? Yeah, referee. Oh, no, we had Mark Uriah Clattenburg. Rennie earlier in the season, yeah. didn't we? But that's a, a... You having that? I'm, I like that one. Yeah? Yeah, it's, it's good for you. Sick. Um, all right, how about this one? Tiramisuaku. <laughs> <laughs> West Ham. Ooh. Injury prone defender. Are we defender. having that? Tiramisuaku. Oh, tira, tira, That's amazing. Tiramisuaku. Tiramisuaku. Tira okay. It's so good. All right. Yeah, I'm having it. Thank you. It's good. It's decent. Say. Right. You ready? Yeah. This is the proper one, mate. It's delicious and it's rich <laughs> and it's chocolatey. Yes. It's a, it's a Red Forest Gattuso. 
Oh, yes. Yeah? Yeah, I like that. You having that? That's top draw, though, last talk. Here's one for you. Go on. Spurs flop. Yeah, they do indeed, yeah. Quite often. Roman Pavlovachenko. Hey, <laughs> yeah. solid. You like solid that, We smashed it this week, you know. Back in the day. Eating Messi aside. Mine have always got a bit more retro feels. Yeah, like. not but Mas- you are like... You not Masalaku, but the other two. Always, <laughs> always predominantly like <laughs> early 2000s based. But no, that was good. But listen, as always, guys, you always come up with better puns than that. So... If you haven't already, jump on Twitter, find the punditry uh, post. Easy to find because it's got the graphic that's behind me on the tweet. So jump onto Twitter, add your entry in the bottom because we're going to read them out at the end of the show live and we'll pick a winner. And of course, as always, the winning pun is what the show gets named after. Yeah, and I'm not going to forget Instagram. Because there were some unhappy ple- people on Instagram. Oh, did you? you said there were none. I, it didn't refresh. You just didn't see it. Oh, okay. Right. Ash screen didn't gonna, refresh. So, yeah. Ash is going to check gonna, Instagram as well. So, Instagram. all good. Right. Moving on then. Yes. Obviously, we are in the middle of um, game week 24. There's still a couple of games tomorrow to come. So, we're very much in the throes of the action. But yeah. let's check in with our teams. Let's yeah. see how we're doing. So, at the minute, we're going to look at your team My first. My team Ash. first. Yeah. Why is that? Because you're, you've got more points than me at the minute. Right. I'm not going to get too carried away because you've got a better chance of gaining some ground. That's in the right. Next, in That's the next good. Stay days. calm. Stay humble. And while I'm just going <laughs> through Kendrick, my, yeah. while I'm going through my, while I'm just discussing my uh, my team, uh, mm. Nick, if you just want to tweet out that we're live and just ask people to come and join us. And guys, if you're watching live, please, would you mind just tweeting out or retweeting uh, Nick's tweet that he's going to send out? Let's just try and get a few more people on board. Uh, to watch the live stream and join us for the fun. Perfect. Tell us about your dead Right, team. so, double game week. There was a lot of um, anticipation, a lot of build-up towards this double game week. I went in fairly fairly confident. I'll start with the negatives. Uh, Grealish, he just seems to be blanking a bit a bit too much at the minute. He's, I said last week, he's been my player of the well, season. He, if you he, look, he's had like five, six games in a row where he did return. Only yeah. like the odd assist, odd goal, odd assist, odd assist. But he's been doing all right, you know. Yeah. But I know what you mean. It feels like he's actually done worse than he has. I feel like he's set himself such a high stall, high standard now. Mm. When he, you know, when you're watching the results come in and flashes up Villa, I'm not thinking Grealish anymore. I'm thinking, oh, it's probably Watkins. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's one of them. But I'm going to stick with him just because I think he's just a phenomenal player. Um, Rashford, uh, I've got to be honest, he's really let me down. He's really disappointed me. I brought him in. For Zaha, because Zaha was out injured, yeah, um, and Manu had a really good run of fixtures. I thought the Manu double up was gonna was gonna do some bits, mm. and uh, yeah, it's just so in, inconsistent. But I, I think I just you know what it is. I watched the, the BBC documentary when he was doing all the stuff for the kids, getting all the food in and that. Yeah, and um, I don't, I don't think know, you I've get got points new... for that though. No, you don't. But I felt like <laughs> I felt drawn to bring him oh, into I've my team. The bonus point system. <laughs> it doesn't. Pass what, it doesn't completed. include that. Yeah, run uh, dribbles completed. Uh, there was nothing about. I think they've changed helping, the rules. Helping people with food. Uh, um, basically, what you've done is yeah. brought in a more expensive Zaha. I have. Yeah, <laughs> he's a massive trapdoor. Um, but positives wise, I mean that's that's pretty much my only my only negatives. Yeah. Um, James, can you throw my my team back on the on the screen, please, mate? Thank you. Um, Matt Edison, Loughton. man like Edison. Oh yeah, go on, Edison, the quarterback. Yeah. Clean sheet and an assist. Unreal. That was. And I was actually going to captain him. You can see I've got the vice on him. I yeah. was going to captain him, to captain him, but I went more sensibly. I mean, you still got to think Sterling's the better. Yeah, yeah. I'd, shot, I'd hope right? so. But I was, you know, I'm banking on two clean sheets for Man City. So that would have been 24 points if I'd have captained yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much guaranteed. Um, but Sterling obviously has the higher ceiling. Matt Loughton. Man like Matty Loughton. Yeah. 15 points, clean sheet, and an absolute rocket of a goal. Yeah. Quality. Um, John Stones uh, obviously kept a clean sheet thank you very much Matt Target obviously one of my differential picks from a few weeks ago that I said Bruno keeps delivering but the thing with Bruno is I'm actually thinking about taking him out are you? yeah just because everyone's got him he's just, he just has no impact for who? I don't know yet Harvey Barnes? KDB's back in training will he get in? Uh, I'll have to drop Stones or Edison ever since KDB went out the teams look better <laughs> it's not true <laughs> Is that? <laughs> oh, Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, Madison, it's not true, but it's, it is kind of true. It was. No, do you know what? No, what are you talking about? Man City have looked better since KDB's been out. Yeah, but they were winning games w- with him in the team. Yeah, but like 1-0 against like yeah. 
poor opposition. We'll, have, we'll wait and see on that one. Uh, Madison, eight points. Uh, Sterling on the captain, obviously got a, got another match to play. 12 mm. points, I'll take that. Uh, Bamford only got me two. Yeah. But, you know, he's in thinking like, double going, game going, week. going ahead for the double game week. Yeah. Um, and then uh, DCL was injured. So I had to make a last minute change. And yeah. I brought in Danny Ings again with the double game week in mind. I like he it. popped up with a goal. Like so it. pretty strong, 82 points. I am up to 209k overall rank, and obviously mm -hmm. I've still got four to play with my captain. Nice. FPL Lions head there, just saying about is Son an option? Obviously, double game week coming up, and um, you've got potentially the money to move from Rashford to yeah. Son. Is that something you'd consider, or Spurs form? Actually, we got a question about this later, so maybe yeah. we should Let's, we should save that. We'll for save that. it for them. But um, let's have a look at my game week 25 team. Here we go. Uh, yeah, not many, not, no changes really. I've just uh, switched out target for Dyer. Yeah. I think I'm probably going to move Dyer to Rudiger. Yeah, I it's think. kind of a bit of a no-brainer at this point. But I point. might, I don't know, Dyer Spurs... started the last game and I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just not, I'm not sold on Spurs at the minute. They just look no. too, they look, they just look crap, man. I just, I just want to get rid of Dyer. I'm just sick of it. He needs to come out. Yeah, they're poor. Um, other than that, I'm looking at my midfield. I'm thinking there's definite points there, and both my strikers got double game weeks. I mean, Man United against Newcastle, you got to kind of. If yeah. Rashford don't score at least two there, he's coming out. <laughs> well, he's not going to score two. He, he should score two. <laughs> Home to Newcastle. Um, Newcastle is shoddy. But yeah, the midfield looks good. Nice fixtures across the board, really. I know Arsenal just did really well, but Man City should still have too much for them. What do you think, captain on Bamford or Ings? <laughs> Wolves and Southampton. That's got to be a better. A better run of fixtures yeah, Wolves yeah Chelsea. Chelsea have been fairly solid at the minute and Danny but Danny has scored two games on the bounce now but Bamford's always always there or there, but I'd, I'd yeah. go for Bamford probably Bamford's been more reliable right. across I'm going to switch season. it to Ings now then cheers mate and Ings is always a bit uh, hamstringy isn't he <laughs> in the cold weather yeah. you never know he might yeah. he might get injured in the first game and be rested for the second but yeah, but yeah let's see I'm looking in good shape I think you could just play Rian Brewster is that who your... do I still have him no, Is I that... said you could just play him, that guy on your bench. Oh, right, okay. No, I'm, I don't, don't even know what he's still doing there, to be honest. He needs to come out. You don't fancy Sanchez in goal at, instead of Edison at Arsenal away? That's a, that's a clean sheet all day long, isn't it? Way at Arsenal. Yeah, but Happy Crystal days. Palace at home also. Yeah, well, you've got Sanchez. So if I pick Sanchez, we're probably going to end up with the same amount of points. At least if I've got Edison, it's true. there's a chance I might get an assist. What are you thinking of Rob Holding now? Still going to hold him? No, nope, dead. He's coming out very soon as well. It might even be holding to Rudiger, to be mm, honest. Mm, there's a lot of changes in this team. Team you were fairly well, holding with, team yeah. nailed, and now I'm looking at the Arsenal's team, and they're they're starting with David Luiz and Gabriel. Yeah. So need some certified. I only want, I want, team, cert I want certified. That's it. I don't know why David Luiz is getting yeah, games again. He's awful. Pony. Right. Let's have a look at Nick's team. Show me what you got, little mama. How's your game week twenty four? Show me what you got. Right. <sighs> Big yeah. We're getting a big woo behind so, the glass. Sanchez, clean sheet, standard. Yeah. That's what he does. Man like Sanchez. Diaz, slight disappointment. You're gutted. <laughs> I know. Well, what? he was he was rumoured to be playing. Holding for Dallas is a great shout, Michael. Yeah, for Lander. Thanks 100%. for that, Um Yeah, Edison on pens. Oh, please. <laughs> if Rodri misses the next one, Edison's going to be on pens. I'm Rodri's gagged. not taking the next one. Rodri he, he already said in the interview he's taking he the next one. He wasn't allowed to oh, take that one. Pep days, said, well. Pep said oh. he's not allowed to take the penalties. He didn't say that. Rodri said in the interview after, he said, I've got the next one. No, 100%. no. Pep said, after the match, he said, yeah. what do you think about Rodri taking the penalty? He was yeah. like, I'm laughing, but I don't think it's funny. We have players that we select for penalty duty, so people shouldn't be taking them off other people. We have penalty takers. He goes, it was... A, it wasn't a good penalty, but it went in. But yeah. we have penalties that practice and practice to they've be got, good at this. They've got dead penalty takers. Sterling can't take a penalty. Aguero can't take a penalty. Well, Gundo was off. Gundo can't take a penalty. He yeah. skies them now. He skied one. Edison, my guy. Well, he's going to score a penalty very soon. You watch. Anyway, so Diaz, listen, didn't play in the last game, but yeah. hopefully will make an appearance against Everton. Because mm -hmm. um, otherwise I've got... Uh, Dallas coming in for a minus one, <laughs> which wouldn't be ideal. Uh, Cresswell, what can you say? You keep running him down, but you have to admit, this guy has absolutely been on fire for the last six, seven games now. I hate Cresswell. Admit that he is one of the best options in defence now. He's, he's all right, yeah. Right. He's all right, I feel like that sort of thing. Points, yeah, I do. So, 
Cresswell's on fire. 12 points. What a ball up. Yeah. Right. John Stone, so six you, points. Stone's Brilliant. been copied from me yet. <laughs> yes, you're a genius for coming yeah, up with John Stone. Game week 13. John Stone. <laughs> no one straight. else had him. No, no one did. Um, 1% owned, if I remember rightly. Salah. Listen, that is what he does oh, now. Makes Liverpool play bad. Salah scores. Makes me sick. Fernandez, obviously you got him as well. Nine points. Grealish, same sort of thing we were discussing before. Now yeah. it gets interesting. Gundogan. Unreal. 38 points. You said in last week's pod, how can this guy just carry on scoring? Not only did he score, he scored two. Should have had three, arguably. And then got an assist as well. So it's like this guy is racking up points at a rate that like you've barely ever seen in FPL history. Gundogan uh, is doing what Sterling should be doing right now. Yeah, he is. Let me just tell you one thing. This is what really upsets me about Gundogan, yeah? Last season, 65 points. Mm -hmm. Two goals, one assist. <laughs> season before, six goals, three assists. Season before that, four goals, two assists. First season, three goals, one assist. This guy has never scored more than six goals. And then and now this season, he's on 11. <laughs> takes time to it's click. It's almost double. Takes like, time to click, mate. He turns 30 and then all this all this happens. Yeah. Like, what, Jamie Vardy what's going syndrome. on? It's rubbish. Jamie Vardy man. wasn't scoring loads of goals when he first went to Leicester. It just defies um, all logic. It's boring. It is boring, <laughs> unless you like points again. <laughs> uh, listen, Kane against Man City didn't really want to play him, but just thought, what if they get a penalty? So stuck yeah. him in. Yeah, well, he hit the bar. Uh, Antonio not playing. Yeah, again. Which is kind of worrying, but also good because Dunk comes in with a seven-pointer. And Brighton, yeah. again, I brought Dunk in a couple of weeks ago saying about this run where they've been keeping clean sheets and they've got some easy games. Dunk's done me wonders as well. Mm -hmm. Left Good side timing. on the bench. Um, and yeah, Dallas with a minus one. But Dallas was... I brought Dallas in, by the way. You probably noticed because I had James Justin. Yeah, injured. ACL and I wasn't going to... Yeah, I wasn't going to do a transfer last week. But I yeah. thought, just avoid a price rise in case he drops and Dallas goes up with a double game week in mind. So mm -hmm. last minute, dropped Justin out, brought Dallas in. Left him third on the bench because I didn't expect him to do that much this yeah. week. So, yeah, but the double game week. Right, let's have a look at game week 25, James. What changes? So, I have got rid of Grealish. Oh, And okay. I brought in Rafinha, which is kind of a move that I was... I had Rafinha. And you captained him. Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm perfect. Sure. So, you will remember that I had Rafinha. Juicy Lager. You, <laughs> you remember I had Rafinha a few weeks ago and I dropped him just to switch my team around for, for the little fixtures that we yeah. had. So I'm thinking triple leads there. Dallas, Rafinha, mm -hmm. Bamford. Powerful. Yeah. Strong, strong team. Yeah. In defence, I'm actually going to drop John Stones. I'm not going to double up on Man City at Arsenal. I'm thinking I'm, thinking I'm going to go with Dunk, Crystal Palace. Where's Cresswell? He's first why, on the why bench. Why is he warming the bench for? I thought he was your... What was your bum boy? Well, your, because Diaz and Dunk, Diaz and Dunk have got to play. And Dallas has got a double. If Dallas didn't have a double, then I would be playing one of the other two. And then you got the normal, uh, the usual suspects in midfield, like the same as you pretty much. Um, Not going to take Salah out yet? No, I think the Everton, he always does well in big games against Everton. Well, that's the way it feels to me anyway. I hate Salah. I'm just going to say it. Well, that's fine. I don't like you it. You don't have to have it. He annoys me. <laughs> what with all his points yeah <laughs> even when Liverpool just utter pony like just, well that's what just you let want. one of the, just let a midfielder score or something do you know what I mean just let let Milner score they're all Why free it to do it gotta be Salah? because that guy is the magician Winds he's the up. Egyptian king um and then yeah hopefully Bamford could do something as well but that's all the listen Antonio's injured but I'm not going to rush to get him out just yet does that mean you're I'll conceding your bet uh the Antonio v Watkins bet well, I've lost it, haven't I? Because he's injured. He's oh, not playing. Early. Did you hear that? That's he's, a concession there. Well, how can he How can he win when he's frame. in? <laughs> how can he beat Watkins? He was, he was close. And then right. he hasn't played the right. last Okay, guys, games. you heard it here first. So Nick's conceded the bet. Uh, we need a forfeit for Nick. So hey, put your suggestions Put put your suggestions in the comments. Oh, yeah. Um, are we done with your game week 25? Yeah, let's move on. Cool, okay. So <laughs> before we go on to the next se section... Um, Producer James has given us a little challenge. So we're going to do the Bean Boozled. Bean Boozle challenge. So like these are so they've got two different. So they're the same color, right? You get two that are the same color, but one's like a nice flavor and one's like a really minging, like horrible flavor. But you get like a little wheel to spin. So, oh my god. Yeah, I know. Smell it as well, by the way. It don't smell great. I can imagine because some of the flavors on here right, give are it 
Right, these these are the flavours. Canned dog food, rotten egg, <laughs> booger, dead fish, skunk, Ooh. dirty dishwater, bath, stinky socks, spoiled milk. Right. Are you gonna you're having one, right? Yeah, sp- yeah, we both gotta have the same one. So give it give it a little spin. Right. Let's see what we get. Oh. That was a proper spin. Right, so we've got it's either gonna be birthday cake. Yeah. Or dirty dishwater. What colour is it? It's like a speckled white. Right. It's that one. That sort of pink and pink and blue. <sighs> pink and blue. Like white with pink and blue, like that. What that one? Yeah. Is that the one? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. You sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah yeah. Like a, yeah yeah I've got it. Yeah, it's right, you ready? rather than too special. Right. Are you ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mine's mine's fine. Mine's birthday cake. What's yours? Mine's it must be alright. Oh, mm. We got lucky then. No mine's dice. Bang on. Next mm. segment we do it again. <laughs> right. Next up. Ash Meets World. I'm gonna go uh backpacking across the world. <laughs> So, have you managed to watch Boy Meets World yet? Have you watched any episodes on YouTube? No, and I'll tell you why. Catch up. I've got a life. Well, it's lockdown, so no one's got a life, to be fair. Working, mate. I've got mm. time for that nonsense. <clears throat> it's true. What a, what a terrible childhood you had where this was what you used to look forward to. Boy Meets World is so underrated. And if anyone knows Boy Meets World out there, drop it oh, in the comments. Don't even bother Chris Irvine. Ash. I know you know it. Chris will know. Right. Right. So, this is the part of the show where I give Ash a little question. Oh, no, sorry, not a little question. I give him a word or a phrase from something that most normal people normal would know what it means. Who wants and to be Ash normal looks anyway? at me blank and struggles to piece together the pieces of this logic. I got philanthropist and I got bassoon. You got you you took a wild stab in the dark at bassoon. You thought it was a monkey, <laughs> and then you changed your mind at the last minute. And then <laughs> philanthropist, you admitted you only knew it from um, watching Marvel films. Yeah, and, well, you can learn totally a lot start. from Marvel, right? Right. Part, okay. Part of, part of growing up. Now this, this I think you might struggle with. Oh, cheers. Well, it's it's like most people know it, but we'll see. How do you know? Mo- do you know most people? Yeah. All right, Sam. What? <laughs> In the UK, not in the world, but I know. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. I know 37.3 million people. So. All right. Ashley Nugent. Don't last name me on the pod, bruv. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> what is a sommelier? A what? <laughs> what is a sommelier? A sommelier. Sommelier. Do you want me to spell that, it for you? Can you use it in a sentence? Don't press enter, James, because you'll see it on the screen. It, um,. And don't say Ash doesn't know what a sommelier is. I hate that one. <laughs> right, I'll spell it for you. It's S O M M E L I E R. It sounds like like a, an Italian football player. <laughs> Gianluca Sommelier. sommelier. <laughs> um, I'll give you a little clue. I'll give um, you a little clue. No, I'm struggling. Do you want a clue? Yeah, I'll have a, I'll have a clue, Bruce. Okay. Um, it's definitely watched Boy Meets World. It's something. Is that you, Nobes? It's something you can be. You can be a sommelier. A sommelier. Oh. Oh, really? I mean, you got bassoon out of nowhere, so you might as well have a guess. No. Are they normal? <laughs> no one knows it. No one knows it. It's something you can be. Um, mm-hmm. Okay, so. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. What, not even a guess? Uh. <sighs> Sommelier, Something you could be. Sommelier. <laughs> you could be like. Feeding you. I don't know. Like, is it someone that likes to like dress up as an animal? <laughs> so close. <laughs> is it? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. FPL Noble Joke. It's a wine expert. It's a wine expert. So if you went to like a if you went to like a nice restaurant, yeah, they may have a sommelier there who can recommend you certain wines to go with certain oh, foods. Oh right, okay. Sommelier. Because you know, like the most like, like a wine waiter. Yeah. So if you go to the restaurant, they would. What's a what's a restaurant? 
of restaurants a bit like McDonald's. You know where you go, mm. but you don't rather than pulling up outside and they hand you the food for a window. Yeah. You actually go in and they have seats. Oh, for real. And a menu that's not lit oh, up oh, that must on be a board. Nice. <laughs> that sounds really, really nice. <laughs> and they I've bring you used to the food sort of to the table. Yeah. <laughs> they them. bring it to you. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Then do they have another waiter that brings you your food? Yeah. So what's that waiter called? Uh, Claude. Claude. <laughs> <laughs> You've got your you own know, personal waiter you, as well. <laughs> you posh twat. The other, do you know what I was going to do before? Also what? restaurant thing, which I thought was yeah. a little bit easy, too easy, you would have got it. I was going to ask you if you knew what a maitre d' was. A maitre d'? Yeah. Ain't that like front of house guy? Yeah, yeah, you would have got that. Yeah. I knew it was too easy, that one. Come on. So sommelier was the right choice. I think my picture could be one, yes. Yeah. The noble, noble gent, gent thumbnail does look like, if you zoomed out a bit, I reckon he's holding... A glass, it's like a glass of wine, just See, swilling if it. If Noble Gent wasn't an F, like an FPL content creator, he would be a sommelier. Yeah, it's a good career career move. Right on the other end of the scale. Right, Ash, Nick, do you want to go for a little walk through the hood? Yeah, my G, my bro, <laughs> my guy. You know the Sean. What's the um? We should have the theme tune to this. We're not the, allowed. <laughs> the, yeah, should, James, we do, should we do a bean first? You can definitely do that. You should do um. What's the Sean? Not Sean Paul. Sean, Paul. Sean Kingston. What? Take me there. You know that song about we uh, can go to the tro- sick no. pina colada. You know that no, song? No, no, no. It's all about sure, how he I takes swear a girl. Sean Kingston only made one tune. It was, damn all these beautiful girls. I remember that song. And that's Sean Kingston, isn't it? Yeah, but it was in key. I remember that. It was good. <laughs> um, what a dickhead. Who sings that? Sean Kingston. Yeah, let's keep it that way. Right. <laughs> Sean uh, Spin Sean that Kingston. wheel. Let's do a quick bean. <laughs> <laughs> well, same one again. Right. That's, we're not in Ibiza, no. This one is coconut or spoiled milk. It's the plain white one. Plain white, okay. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mine's coconut. I don't even like coconut, but mine's coconut. <laughs> mine's coconut. <laughs> oh, we dodged two bullets. We'll have to get a bad one soon. Right. That's dude, that's nice. Community team. Right, hang on. Oh. Your phrase. Oh, yeah. Skipping past it. Your phrase, Nick. And last week you got it, didn't you? Mm, chirps. Chirps in. Who's? Suicidal. What's happening, Chris? A Liverpool loser. Oh, he's singing Sean Kingston. Suicidal. Suicidal. When they say <laughs> it's over. Right. Nicholas. Andrew Actually. Turner. <laughs> That's not my name. I love <laughs> <laughs> Ashley. Nicholas, what is? The Shikwan <laughs> Nugent. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas, what is? What is blazing a zoo? It's, um, it's a, like smoking <laughs> marijuana. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, that's very correct, my, yes. my man. Look, you see, I'm pretty gangster. Yeah, you certainly are. Um, look, he, James, also, James Sean, has always got to fact check it. Sean Paul, <laughs> ever blazing. Wasn't ever that one blazing, of his songs? Ever blazing, ever blazing. See, that's, you've got a distinct advantage because you listen to hip hop and rap. Yeah. Whereas I Have don't, you not I don't heard... listen to like Frank Have you not Sinatra heard Kretzen Conan? And, Freddie Have you Mercury. not heard Crepton Conan uh, watch out sommelier? Have you not heard that song? No. Oh, well, you need to... You Stop it, Ash. Just lost three viewers. What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean the stream's not working? Get off that dial-up, James Twilly. Upgrade your internet speed. Come on, mate. <laughs> What's going on? Right, fix up, look sharp. Right, let's as move Dizzy, on. As Dizzy Rascal once said, let's um, have a look at the community team. Is it time for a bean yet? Next. <laughs> let's go, Beanie Man. Where's the community team, James? <clears throat> right, this one is dead fish. Ooh, what colour? Pink. It's a pinky one. Yeah. It's not pinky peach. orange. Not peach, it's pink. Like this one? Yeah. Pink, not orange. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's a dead fish. What? Oh, it's sick. I've used yours the same. <laughs> Oh, oh bro, that's fucking bad, bro. Don't swear on live. <laughs> oh my god. You're live on Big Brother. Please do not swear. Mm. Oh. Right, moving swiftly. Oh. 
<laughs> moving swiftly on. So the com the is on 70 points for the week. <laughs> it has 2.7 mil in the bank. So it's rich beyond its wildest dreams. And it has two free transfers, Ash. <laughs> so they're doing well. McCarthy in goal. Listen, I think we both would have had McCarthy up for a transfer this week if he didn't have another game. I thought you were going to take another one there to try and take taste away. Oh, I could smell it, man. Love if it was wrong. Right, so excuse my language. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. McCarthy. Yeah. I think if he didn't have the double game, I would have took him out. He would have been my choice to go. It's about time we got Martinez into this team. However, <laughs> we've got we've got Wan Bissaka, <laughs> Stones, Cresswell at the back. Yeah. Then we got our cheapy Dallas on the bench, and we got Robertson sitting there rotting away as well. Yeah. That's in the too middle, much money to be rotting away. Oh, there. In the middle, Rafinha, Fernandez, Sterling, and Gundogan. So all good there. Yeah. Up front, Antonio Bamford and. Watkins, mm. so weak, a little bit weak up top, but yeah. you know, nice fixtures for them seeing. So, I've got a couple of options. You've got a couple of options. Uh -huh. Ash, what's your first pick? <clears throat> Option one: two mm -hmm. transfers, Robbo and Antonio out. Yeah, Rudiger and Ings in. How about that? How about that? I like that. Ings double Very... game week. Rudiger, Chelsea are clean sheets galore. I got a similar one. Okay, hit me. I'm saying. Robbo and Antonio out. Yeah. Dunk and Ings in. Oh, okay. You're bringing your man Dunk in. Dunk for the old com team. Dunk okay. Ings. Dunk Ings. Slam Dunk Ings. Man like Dunk. Okay, cool. Slam Dunk Ings. Uh, my second one is just a one transfer. Antonio to Ings. So the same as one, one as before, but without the Rudiger change. Okay. Just the Antonio to Ings. I like it. 115.6 players to play. Oh, smashing, smashing it. Smashing it. Do you know what? Steve... Steve Twiggy, he's only started doing well at this since he's been watching the juice. So you're welcome. Does he do the opposite to what we do? That is what's <laughs> happened. I swear. Um, my next pick, it's not very exciting, but they're going to have a double game week coming up soon. Yeah. And I just think Robertson to target. Yeah. You've makes, got him in your team. Makes he's sense. doing well. Yeah. Villa, 10 clean sheets, I think, this season yeah. so far. So just free up a bit of money and then we can make other 12? moves. Because we might... We might want to get an upgrade on uh, Antonio Thanks Bamford to you, Ashley. Watkins. Look, see, Steve, you're welcome, my man. Down to me, obviously, not Nick. Appreciate that. He's probably doing better than you. So. Keep watching. And your hoodie's coming soon. <laughs> oh, bribery. Now it makes sense. <laughs> right. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, so we'll put that vote on Twitter for you guys to vote. So if you're on Twitter or you want to get onto Twitter, do so. Uh, drop us a follow. Uh, that's at FPL underscore juice. Nick will tweet out at some point during the week the vote and have your say well, on the community. As soon as this game weekends, I'll, yeah. uh, I'll, I'll get it out. Yeah, cool. Should we move on? We shall. Are we doing a bean? One more bean. <laughs> right, this one Spin is... Spin the wheel of beanness. This one is Come the, on, the, bean. pur the, the really purple one. Okay. Which is either going to be chocolate <clears throat> pudding... Do you mean this one? No, that's black. Purple. Oh, okay. It's either going to be... Chocolate pudding or yeah. canned dog food? Ooh. Don't mind dog food, to be fair. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's dog food. I don't like this dog food. <laughs> oh, my God. Why are we even doing this? It's just because James brings in some terrible beans. and goes, eat these. And we go, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's not nice is it bro well, I don't think dog food was designed for humans for a reason oh. at least you got a beer to wash it down mm. I finished mine oh what dear one? No. <laughs> well, actually yes <laughs> just for the taste oh. guys <clears throat> listen uh, that we've is got... the sound of the taste going away god you chew so loud god I snore so loud I chew so loud do, do everything, everything loud. You do everything loud. Just a Pop loud. Give good advice loud. Just a loud, loud guy, isn't it? Um, I think it's time to check in with the agent. Yeah, it is. Some say that he never calls a wrong number. It's the receiver answering the wrong phone. <laughs> Interesting. 
Some say that when he was born, the doctors never actually cut off his umbilical cord. And they just left it. And now he uses it as a makeshift belt. <laughs> All we know is he's, he's called, called the, the agent. agent. Roll the beanie VT, please. Yeah, cheers, Tim and Helen. Um, so I've been up in uh, Yorkshire this week, cruising about, working out what I can do and what I can't, uh, mostly what I can't. Um, and I heard these two lads outside the corn exchange listening to some music. And one said to the other, oh, get this rap in you. I couldn't understand what he meant. Get this rap in you. What, like, get the rap to feel into your soul and feel the music. Then I worked it out. Rafinha, 5.3 million, double game week coming up. Got that game in game week 29, little long-term thinking. Rafinha, 5.3 million, do it. Do it, get him in. Rafinha, and uh, out of us two, who's Tim and who's Helen? Mm. I'm obviously Tim, because you've got a long hair in it. Like I'm Hell's Bells. You are Hell's Bells. You're Tim Lovejoy. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, Rafinha. Obviously, you've got him in. You've just I mean, brought him in as yeah. well. Are so you obviously, in, I think he's a great Are you and the agent colluding? Are you working together to try and dethrone me? We are. We're undercover. It makes sense. We are one and the same. You are. Are you the agent? I'm the agent. This is why you've never seen us together. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I like Rafinha. Check this out. Last five game weeks. 5 points, 6 points, 9 points, 5 points, 13 points. Just nice and steady, he's isn't just, he? just yeah, and just he's returns. Just form and he's just his all round play is ridiculous. Some of the skills he's pulling off. I saw the Meg, by the way. Oh, you did end up watching oh, the one Absolute on Gary Cahill. Absolute filth. Yeah, he's awesome. But I think if he carries on going the way he's going, one hundred, he'll get a he'll get a move. He'll get a move. Not that I'm, it'd be sad for Leeds to lose a player like yeah. that. Yeah, but you can easily see him going to. Maybe not like a bigger Man- team. but you know, like Noble an Everton Jen. or a Leicester. Noble Jen, are you like a Leeds that. fan? I'm sure he's is he a Leeds fan. Ooh, not sure. Be one nil Liverpool, him, Salah. Oh, of course it is. That's what he does. Wrong competition. Scores goals. Um, yeah, and they got obviously got the double game week coming up. Um, yeah. After that, they've got Villa at home, West Ham away. So it's a good, good few fixtures for mm. for Rafinha. So yeah, guys, if you want to jump on board with the agent's pick, it's also Nick's pick. Funnily enough, uh, yeah, bring in Rafinha. See how it goes. Right, <clears throat> Asher Lee. Are we doing a beam? I'll spin the wheel. You, you tell me about this giveaway. <laughs> right, okay. So, as you know, guys, we are giving away this amazing machine, this PlayStation 5, as part of our free prize draw. Yeah, it's been going on for some months now, but like we said, we're only going to give it away when we get to 1,000 subscribers. Thankfully, we're over halfway. I think we've got two, uh, 605 subscribers on YouTube now. So, we're getting ever closer. Um, but, yeah, in order for you to enter... All you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's really easy. Just go on to YouTube, type in FPL Juice, click the button that says subscribe. It's absolutely free, costs nothing. Once you've done that, take a screenshot showing that you've subscribed to the channel. Once you've done that, send that screenshot to me. Uh, my email is ash at fpljuice.com. That's ash at fpljuice.com. Lion said, there's always one. In there. There's always, if it's not Savage, it's Lion's Head. If it's not Lion's Head, it's Savage, Ricky, Ricky McCure. one of you. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you know you know, you know, know the email to uh, subscribe to. So, uh, to send it to, sorry. So, yeah, guys, if you could make sure that you let everyone know. If you're on Twitter, retweet it on Twitter. If you're on Instagram, uh, tag your mates in on the Instagram post. Let's get this thing up to 1K because I'm just sick of the sight of it. To be honest. It annoys me that it's sitting here and we can't even play it. So, And we appreciate you. Let's get it gone. This uh, giveaway is sponsored by our good friends at Bell Twin Commercial Catering Engineers. Top class parts and maintenance for all your commercial catering needs. Top guys, top blokes, actually really close friends of mine. So if you're uh, in the kitchen um, business, if you own a restaurant and you need any of your catering equipment serviced or any parts or maintenance sorted, these are the guys to come to. So... Yes, that's how to enter. Perfect. What bean did we get? We have mm. either buttered popcorn or Ooh. rotten egg. Oh. So it's the white with the ye- yellow spots. Oh. So it's that one there. Which one? See that? Why are you pointing directly at that well, one? Well, if you no, find another that. yellow, white with yellow spots. Don't touch them all. It's bloody COVID. And you've got your... Don't virus-y, worry. Your virus hands. I've had my COVID the- jab, haven't I? Justin, oh, you're good to see Woodsy in his Sunday best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. That is a Luton, L- LTZ, a Luton shirt. Come on, 
It is absolutely appalling. It's nice to see that someone's still employing Umbro to make their kits. Cheers. Old tight Umbro. I've got popcorn. I've got popcorn. Ooh, oh, gas. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say three and a bounce would have been awful. Yes. Right. Let's move on to those juicy questions, yeah. James. Let's throw them up. I've been really prepared for these this week. No questions. Oh, he's, he's lying. Right. This is from comic underscore nerd mm-hmm. at Shahid Hus 07. He says, or he asks, is Ings really uh, worth getting for potential two to three double game week given the difficulty of the fixtures? Chelsea, Leeds, Everton, Spurs, Sheffield United, City, Saints in poor form. Just seems unconvinced. Would rather DCL or Kane. Mm. What are you thinking about Ings, bro? So I really like him. When he's on form, he's on form. I think that the fixture, I mean, the ones that look like they're sort of, well, the ones that he's going to have, obviously for this week, Mm. is Chelsea and Leeds. Now, Chelsea are really shored it up at the back. They're not conceding. The only person that scored against them in the last month is Rudiger, right? Mm. So... (laughs) So, so they're Slotted doing something, well. right? Um, then Leeds, that's a different proposition. Leeds, as good as they've been going forward and as yeah. well as they've done in the league this year, they have conceded a lot of goals. So he's definitely got a chance there. There's a possible double game week in 26 with Everton or Tottenham or Man City. So they're all tough games for them. Mm-hmm. Um, but that might not happen anyway. And then, of course, the following week in 27, there's a likely... Uh, double game week with Sheffield United which is obviously a fairly easy game yeah on paper and then again either Man City or Tottenham so those are those are tougher again yeah so listen my thoughts on it are Danny Ings is a form player but I do think there are better options out there if you've already got Bamford fair enough if you haven't he's the one to bring in in my mind Um, but I don't really see there's so many other options you could bring in at the minute. Obviously, mm. DCL will be returning to fitness and has similar kind of fixtures available to him. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, don't, I just, I think he's a good punt and you've got him in your team. So obviously you feel a certain kind of way about him. Yeah. Um, Mane scored 2-0. Oh, nice. <clears throat> I hope Liverpool do win because it could give them a bit of confidence and they could kick on as well. It's nice to see the Liverpool fans, sorry, just going off topic, but nice to see the Liverpool fans really supporting Klopp this week as well. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you caught any of it or no. I, I heard that he was. I thought he was going to walk away. Yeah, well, he's, I think people have been putting two and two together. He's gone. Um, no, he hasn't. No, he has. He's talking shade. Because um, talking shade there. Yeah, Klopp's mother passed away. Mm. Been affected as anyone would. Been massively yeah. affected by it. But I think everyone's kind of rallied around him. And he said, "Come out in the press conference." Said, "I'm not going anywhere." Like, yeah, good. You know, we deal with these things, and it's good. So on a on a positive side, I hope yeah. people do start doing well. Um, Look, I'd rather. Yes, Penguin. Where you hey, been, penguin. man? Late to the party. Been waddling over here. Uh, it's juice time. Yes, it certainly is. Can't agree with things. If he fixtures and it's a time when transfers are at premium, he's liable to get injured at any minute. And who needs mm. an extra minus four when there's plenty of options out there? Completely agree. Like, of all the other that was picks, telly, like, I didn't want to bring Kane in because because you've got Kane. I was going to go Vardy. But I thought, no, I'm going to give it a week. They got a game against Liverpool. I'll bring it. I'll maybe look to bring him in maybe a week or two after that. Yeah, it's either Kane or Vardy for me. They're much for much. Um, DCL, I had. He got injured, mm-hmm. so I, I would rather tomorrow, have though. Kane or DCL. Yeah. But as a as a as a backup, as a punt for a double game week and maybe a couple of weeks after, I think Ings is all right. Like I said, even when he's had a quiet game, he still looks the most threatening to score. Yeah, he had a couple he's, of great shots as well. He's just such a, a good technical footballer as well. When you see just so when sharp. you see him hit a he's ball, clever. when you see him hit a ball, it's like clean. Yeah, it stays time. hit. He just looks like a proper proper player. But mm-hmm. yeah, I think there are better options out there. That volley he scored last game, quality, yeah, 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 yeah. different club, just, just great connection. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Hopefully that answers your question for you. Well, I'm saying Shahid. I'm saying there's better options out there. You don't like think who? So. Bamford, yeah. Everyone well, think, knows Bam. Everyone knows about Bamford. I think definitely Bamford. Um, Watkins. Depending on the money you've got as well, what do you think about Werner? Timo. 
I don't know. Not yet. I don't think. What do you think about Aubameyang? No. Oh, he's not a striker though, is he? Midfielder. No, yeah, Fuck. exactly. <clears throat> Stop talking me into it. <laughs> <laughs> Ings no. is a trap, like Dina. I've had Ings for one week and he's got me returned, so he's not he's not that I much mean, of a trap. I mean, I mean, I'd probably go DCL over Ings. I'd pick DCL over Ings, yeah. Because hundred percent, they've got you know <clears throat> a similar amount of double game week potentially. But who's to say Ings doesn't score in the next game and then score in the next game after that and he's on a little run? He could run, easily do it. And then he's he's in he's in people's minds again. He's staying in my team. Okay. He'd stay if he if he earns his place in my team, he'll stay in my team. <laughs> yeah, there's a, right. there's a lot of options out there, but let's. Um, what's the next question? Oh, Bean. Oh, right. Spin the wheel, of Beanness. Right, well, we've had that. One. Come on, Beanie man. Ings for the double. Yes, Penguin. Have you bought in Ings for the double as well? Yeah. Tutti. I've this just one, bought him in as well. This one will either be Tutti Fruity yep. or Stinky Socks, and it's the it's white with blue and pink spots, like that. White with blue and pink spots. Yeah. Okay. There's one. Ready? Uh, that's the one. Cheers. Mine's all oh. right. Mine's all right. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, FPL Penguin? Sorry, James. Is yours bad, obviously. <laughs> Mine's nice. Uh, do you know what? It tastes more like detergent. Captain in Bamford this week. Yeah. Good chap. Yeah, Bamford's been getting a lot of um, attention on his FP, <laughs> on his FPL team. This bean's really nice, actually. Too mm. How's yours? You say? Dead. Not Thanks so for nice. rubbing it, mate. That's why. All right. What's the next question? Hit me. All right, FPL noble gent. Thank you very much, mate. Um, Spurs have great potential double game week fixtures versus Palace and Fulham. Southampton. Should we look to target their players? All stay well clear. So, we touched the, on this earlier. The socks one lingers. <laughs> then it, it stays in there. Because <laughs> we were talking about Spurs earlier. Someone suggested, I can't remember who it was now, sorry, but someone suggested that Son might be a good Rashford replacement for mm. your team. So, yeah, what do you think? Obviously, there's a, a rot set in at Spurs a little bit. Mourinho does and looks like you know, if you compare, I saw a segment on Sky Sports the other day where they were talking about the stats in his first 12 games mm. compared to his last 12 games. The chain, the swing is unbelievable. Yeah. Just in terms of everything, in terms of like the amount of shots they're conceding on target, the amount of possession they got, the amount of passes, they could, everything's dropped off a cliff. Mm. And obviously Harry Kane's been out for a little period of that as well, which hasn't helped. But, with these fixtures coming up, which are favourable, <clears throat> what are you thinking? I've got Son and Kane at the minute. Yeah. You, you haven't got either. I've got, I haven't got either. So you haven't got any Spurs. You've got no. da- obviously Eric Dyer. But... I've got no Spurs, but that's mainly because <clears throat> you've got both of them. Yeah. I had Kane. I took him out. I'm I'm not I'm not really like rushing to bring him back in, to be honest, especially when you bear in mind this terrible run of form that Spurs are in. Yeah. Um, they just look just drab, man. Like it's, it's the it's Mourinho. Like he does this but to man, teams, man. He just, yeah, he Man just City sucks can make any life out of them. Man City can make anyone look look bad. Yeah, but I mean, not it's not the, the last fact game get, they had. It's they not played, the fact that they got beat they by right. Man City, right? They got played. They got beat by the better team, right? Mm. When he makes decisions like bringing Deli Ali on at three 0 down, expecting him to do some sort of magic, you've not played the guy for the last eight weeks. Like, what are you trying to do? Are you just trying to demoralise him even more? Like, Yeah, but you're not thinking there's something going on with Deli Alley. Just there's don't definite, understand. There's definite issues with Deli The Alley. one thing I do understand is Deli Alley was scoring 20 goals a season a couple of years ago. So something's happened. I'll tell you what and happened. Mourinho's not able to get he the He got a contract. He got a big contract. He got hyped up. And he started believing his own stuff. That's what happened to Deli Alley. That's good. That's what you want. You want players to think nah, they're the If they're professional, then it's a good thing. If they're Deli Alley, it's not a good thing. Look, he's not the only player that's done stupid stuff. There's hundreds of them. Grealish does it. Grealish has been one of the worst. But look at him. He still comes out and performs <laughs> on a regular basis. You know what I mean? What's Jay Lings? <laughs> James is... <laughs> Was it? Jay Lings. Oh, dear. But By the listen... way, I forgot to mention, um, someone said, did send me a question about Jay Lings on Facebook. I think it was last week or the week before. Yeah. Never should have scored those two goals. They were both at the keeper. Martin should have saved them both. That's all. That's, that's my piece. All that's right. my piece. He got an assist this week. Won a penalty. <clears throat> Did he? 
<laughs> Did you see it? No, like, not, I've not caught the highlights on that one. Mate, when you see it, it's the most blatant penalty you've ever seen. Yeah. Even VAR for that one. Literally <laughs> just steamed into it. I can't remember it was the Sheffield United defender, which one it was now, but Chris Basham maybe or someone like that. John Egan maybe. Mm. But literally just flew into them. Hilarious. Um, um, Kane getting free kicks back from Dyer is a big plus. I'd definitely take that into account. Spurs do look, do look much. Muck. Do look muck. Oh, muck. They do look muck. They're not great. But the thing is, I think I'm I'm at a point where I wouldn't rush to bring them in. But you're also not equally but I've got them rushing to get them out. And they're not going anywhere. Like, if I if there was other players that were massively on form, if there was another strike, say if Jamie Vardy was banging the hat-tricks every week, mm. then I would do Kane to Vardy, no problem. If there was another defend um, midfielder, I mean, even like Harvey Barnes. I'm almost on the verge. If I was going to change one, I'd probably change Son to Barnes or someone like that because yeah. you've got Madison. So yeah. I think I'd probably go Barnes. But um, but other than that, I'm not in a mad rush to bring out. I don't think Son's going to do much worse than mm. any of the other options around his price range. But we'll see. If it continues to go one way, then you know we'll have a look. But don't I'm reluctant know. to drop him. If Mourinho gets sat, then I'll bring Son back in. <laughs> uh, and Deli Ali. Bean, move on. Spin the wheel with Beanness. Dear, these are just I've got to get a nice one surely right it's the green one which is either juicy pear yeah or booger <laughs> I mean I don't even like juicy pear oh, it's, oh my god it's the worst one I've ever well if you don't know you've got pear put it that way <laughs> no it's very sour it's very sour. Sour's fine. Oh. That's not... Oh, my God. Sorry about that. What's oh. the next question? That one took a sec to kick in. Right. Um... There's something wrong with you if you managed to chew it for that long. I've got a fairly high pre threshold for bad tasting food, but that was... Right. BB Essentials for Game Week 26, balanced with Game Week 25 doubles and Game Week 29 blanks. Yes, I am on my wild card, says FPL Glasto. So the Game Week 29 blanks are so hard There's to judge. There's only three fixtures in Game Week 29. This is just, I know, but that's officially. So, But what could happen? There's all sorts of things could happen, right? Right, talk to me. So... I think the, Nick's using that table from Ben. Is it Ben Krillin? Ben Quillen. Ben Quillen. If you don't know. This is the content everyone. we're here for. <laughs> the beans or the double game week talk? <laughs> that is what it was. <laughs> this is the content we're here to bring you, Chris. Right. So teams that are definitely going to play is Arsenal, West Ham, Fulham and Leeds. Right? I have <laughs> one player <laughs> from all of that. Sounds good. This could be my uh, <laughs> free hit. This could be my free hit. It could. If I had a free hit, I'd use it. 100%. Um, the games that probably look like they should happen is Everton, West Brom. Got anyone from Again, there, no players from either of those teams. Brighton, Newcastle. Got Again, keep, no players. Oh, no, got yeah, but it's bench, isn't he? Bench for Um And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm struggling. There's there's a lot of likely blanks and there's a lot of definite. I mean, Crystal Palace and Wolves are 100%. Uh, sorry, Man United and Crystal Palace are definitely not playing. That's all that's for sure. Okay. But there's still a lot changing. Um, I'm just going to wait until the fixtures are announced and when they're confirmed, then I'll then I'll make a judgment then. I mean, the players, in terms of like doubles and stuff like that, the players that I would say to keep an eye on. Definitely the bean flicking wheel. We have <laughs> Ben, ben Crillin for schedule. <laughs> so, Man City, <laughs> these, are the, these are the players that probably is the most. Like. I mean, Fulham have got Potential double game weeks and leads, but who maybe Josh Marger? What do you think about Josh, Josh Marger? Josh Marger had a little, I'm not gonna lie, had a sneaky little look after yeah. his brace 5.5 mil. It's cheap. Fancy a little punt. Mm. Little punty might be on the horizon. I mean, you've got Brewster in your team. Surely, Dead. surely Josh Marger's a better option. Yeah, than Brewster. he's worth a punt, but I'll do that transfer I mean, straight he, away if I was you. What, Brewster to Marger? Yeah. Why not? Listen, I'm not going to take advice from you, fella. All right? I'm better than you at this game. Mm. Big chance of Villa v Spurs in game week 29. Yeah. I'll take a bit of that because I've got Grealish. 
might bring in Watkins as a shout. I, I still like Watkins. There's room for Watkins in my team. Brighton. You fancy anyone from Brighton? Trossard. Not attacking. Mopai. Not attacking. I like the defense. Well, Mopai's the, obviously just, you, got, you obviously never know what's going to happen. My, I've got Dunk. Yeah. I think Trossard's great. Everyone you would else. never bring, you're not going to bring The Trossard thing in. is like Gross and Mopai, they're, they get points, but you never know when they're going to play. Don't ever not. mention gross again, all right? Don't, just don't bring the gross, <laughs> the grossness to the table ever again, all right? What about um, <laughs> Newcastle? Lamptey. There's no one from Newcastle. Is it time for Lamptey again? Nah, Looking Lamptey. lively? Lamptey's like game week Lamptey. two news, isn't it? Um, yeah, listen, Newcastle sent Maximum. Is he back? Is it time? <laughs> Talking of week two news. Oh, Bruce, they're going down. Newcastle <laughs> looks shocking. No Wilson. No oh. Wilson, no points. That's the, that's the that's the bottom line for Newcastle. Joe, Arsenal? Not Joe Linton. Arsenal, well, Aubameyang could be a massive differential. Someone wants to take a punt. I will take a punt on Aubameyang. What about Bellerin? You had him in your team. I did. Um, I don't think I'll be bringing him back in. Mm. But I am looking at Aubameyang. There's a, little sp- there's a little spot on the right side of my midfield. And if Aubameyang plays the next couple of games up front, what about Odegaard? it can happen. Odegaard. <laughs> I'd rather Smith row. Man like Pierre. It's about time, man. ESR. Bit of ESR for you. Nah, nah, nah. No. Saka? On a serious note, Saka. Nah. No? Nah, I just don't fancy it. I've got... The thing is, when when budget's got not... better players. When budget's not really a thing, you don't really need players as cheap as that. That's the problem. Mm. Like, you've got no premium strikers, have you? No. At all. So, you well, don't yeah. really need to go down. If, if, if budget... If, say if Kane and Vardy were doing well... That's when you'd need a Vardy. Mm. But at the minute, I mean, you must be the only person without Gundogan still in their team. Yeah, I don't need Gundogan. <laughs> don't need, I don't need Gundogan. He's not... This is just a freak of nature time in his life, yeah? Yeah. This wasn't meant to happen. Something went very, very wrong. Yeah, but wouldn't you rather and have when him KDB comes period? back, he, he'll go off the boil again. Don't you worry about that. KDB will be back to his one penalty every five games. I'll take form. it. As long as he's getting, he's still the second most assists in the se- this season. No. Yeah, he is. Joint Hold second on. with Grealish. Don't even give me that. Don't fact check me. Lion's head. F- quick fact check on Nick, please. No, he got it wrong last week, so I can't <laughs> be relying on. Right, is that the last question? <laughs> right. Uh, Being a move on, then we go into punditry. Right. Let me spin this wheel. Kevin De Bruyne. He's. Fourth. No, he's not. Yep, Rubbish. He is. Right. Peach. <laughs> Peach or bath? What co- oh God, what colour is it? What colour? I think Chris Irvine said mild vomit. Um so it's like a peachy that. No no no, it's this one here. That's orange. Yeah, like that one, look. The black one there, look. Right. It's this one. Right, cheers. KDB is on ten with Grealish. Yes. But behind Kane. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> that's the worst one. Oh, that was the worst one. I feel sick. Oh. That was awful. Awful. Ooh. Awful. That is not good. All right, let's go to the let's go oh. to the punditry. Cresswell got oh. to be up for assist now. <laughs> right. Oh. Yeah, Nick likes a bit of Cresswell. Cresswell is Plonker. amazing. I think he's up to like I'd nine. Like, let's, not get, let's not get twisted. Uh, Cresswell is. Cresswell's on nine assists. A baller. So he's one behind De Bruyne. Your man, De Bruyne, yeah? Yeah, De Bruyne's been out for four months. Four games. Yeah, that's what I said. Right. Should we do this? Yes. Let's have a look at your entries for the punditry competition. And the uh, topic was desserts. So. Should we do this? FPL Lion's Head. Yeah. It's a good point, this. Also, with everyone being so stressed about their teams lately, stressed, read backwards, is desserts. Ooh. Coincidence? I think not. Someone's been playing Countdown. I... Was wondering. <laughs> I was wondering if you would know desserts or deserts. Was, desserts or deserts. Yeah, I was a bit concerned you might misread it and say no. Like, desserts has Louis, two S's. Louis Sahara or something. Waste man, bro. 
Right, right. let's go. Chocolate Musa Sissoko. Yeah. Not Joe bad. Tart. Joe Tart, yeah. Okay. And Matt Donut Tree. It's a bit of a stretch. Well, but he always goes top. He limits himself to yeah, the Tottenham team. He's only so got difficult. Spurs. But What's dudes a telly laughing at? <laughs> you in your desert. Uh, FPL Tony. He's come with Theo Walnut Whipcott. Walnut Whip? Walnut Whipcott. Whipcott. Mm. Walnut Whip. Where's Chocolate Walcott. Brownie? Yes, I like that. And uh, Lee Dixon's Ice Cream. <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> Uh, Scorchio, uh, good guy, proper guy on uh, Twitter as well. If you don't follow him, FPL Scorchio. Yeah, you know I can't physically pass up, up this opportunity. <laughs> Flancesco Totti. Flancesco Totti. <laughs> yes, strong. Jean Pierre Tatan. Ooh, like a tart Tatan. And John Tartson. Nice. <laughs> They're excellent. Um, like Flancesco Totti. <laughs> strong. Great, isn't it? Right, Leah Noble at Leah Rain. She's come with Rhubab Crumble. Like Phil Bab. Yeah. We've got Angel Delict. Oh, that's good. That's strong. That's good. <laughs> We're getting oohs in the in the off in behind the glass. And then we've got uh Strawbees, Strawbezzy and and Reem. Strawbezzy and Reem. <laughs> and Reem as well, a double. A Berichi Ezzy and Reem. Uh FPL nice. Noble Gent. Yeah. Flapjack Grealish. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm having it. I'm having it. Profit a rule fox. <laughs> That's my favourite so far. Decent. And strawberry Pavlotha Mateus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've outdone themselves this week. The noble household, they take this so yeah. So not seriously, but they're, you can they're see really what good was at it. On Valentine's Strong. Night. Oh yeah. <laughs> what did a, you get? <laughs> it was a pun off. <laughs> uh right. Oh, FC Alidia, Black Forest Gattuso. Oh, yeah. Yes. Same mind as you. Uh, Bake Welbeck Tart. <laughs> Very good. Nice. And Apple Strew Deli Alley. Oh, that's good. Decent. That I like that. Uh, Billy Hadaway. Yeah. Has gone with Fruit Salad. Fruit Salad. Salad. <laughs> <laughs> Vander... That's not a dessert, is it? Fruit Salad. Of course yeah. it is. It's fruit, man. I know not in Luton. <laughs> you get fruit. Fruit's the stuff that grows on trees. It needs to have like sugar on it and cream and stuff. I mean, we well, can pour a bit of sugar and cream on your fruit salad. And it ain't a fruit salad, is it? It's fruit salad with straw with jelly. <laughs> Van der Beekwell tart. Yeah. Um, Vladimir souffle. Is that souffle? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's written a few extra, but I'll, I'll allow it. Sunday Elise. Sunday Elise. Sunday Elise was a. Uh, um, Nigerian. Oh, right, okay. Footballer back in the day. 94. No, I don't remember him. Nah, I was, uh, only, I was only five, mate. Sorry. Gabrielle Martin Jelly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Lemon Sice. Lemon Sice, okay. Yeah, I'm having the Martin Jelly. Uh, right, Steve. Man like Twiggy. Spotted Click. <laughs> That's good, yeah. Eaten Messi. Yeah. Man after my own heart. You and uh, Pedro... Cornetto. Very good. Nice. <laughs> uh, good job. At Colonel Straker. Yeah. Uh, has he changed his name again? He's back to Colonel back Straker. Straker. changes every five minutes. Chris Irvine has yeah. gone with John Terry Masu. Yeah, okay. I don't John think it's as good as your Terry Masuaku. Uh, Creme Brulemina. Creme Brulee Mina. Okay. You know it? Lamina? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Creme Brulee. Creme Brulee, Mina. yeah. And Batten Burj Cake. Oh, no, like Battenberg, see. Battenberg, Clattenberg, Sanderberg, Clattenberg. <laughs> right, uh, FPL Crisby. He's gone with uh, eating Messi as well. Uh, we've got another fruit salad, and then we've got a Wolves Vianetto. Love a bit of Vianetta. Are you a Vianetta man? I like a bit of Vianetta. Was it, what was it? Yeah. You were mint or chocolate or I vanilla? I love mint. I love mint ice cream. Oh yeah, mint, yeah. that mint one was good. Mint. I like mint choc chip. Mm. It's I like stuff. My faves. At FPL Buddy. Yeah. Kevin De Brownie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's an easy one. Not um, sure if a dessert or racial slur. F <laughs> FPL underscore mogul. He's gone with Dimitri Blueberry Piet. Oh, I see what he's doing. Blueberry, Blueberry Pie. Pie. Okay. Come Blueberry on, Blueberry Pie. Yeah. Um, 
Nick Khan, yeah. who was live with us. So he's gone for Key Lime Pie. Okay, yeah. Key yeah. Sung Young. Key Sung Young. Yeah, decent. Jesse Linza Tort. Linza Tort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of see where he's going at. Yeah. And Alphonse Oriola. Ooh. Ariola Oreo. Is, is it a dessert? Is it a biscuit? An Oreo. I think he's in America. What, dessert? Nick Khan. Yeah. Imagine yeah, you yeah. got served your dessert. It was like a one Oreo. But what if it was one massive Oreo? What if it was like a huge ice cream Oreo? That sounds all right, actually. Mm. I'll take it. Right. Podball 100. Podcast trends. They've come through. They've gone with Darren Ambrosia. Oh, Newcastle legend. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Trevor Sinclair. Eclair. Mm. Sinclair. Nice. And Obamarang. Oh, Meringue. <laughs> Obama yeah, that's excellent. That's really good as well. <laughs> Obamarang. Wicked. Uh, Sue, check yourself. Yeah. Always uh, gets involved with these. He has gone for Juan Angel Delight. Yeah. Juan Angel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trevor Eclair. Yeah. Like Trevor Sinclair. Trevor Sinclair. And... John Strudal Thomason. John Strudal Thomason. Yeah, I like that. Do you remember the new Newcastle? John Tal Thomason. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Danish player, wasn't he? That's it. Quality. Right. Uh, FPL Granada. He's got a few here. He's gone with Bonoba Femi Pie. Bonof- <laughs> Bono- Bonoba Femi. Does that, does that make sense? Bonoba Femi. Over, Over Femi, Femi Martins. Martins. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ice Lolly Watkins. Oh, Lolly, yeah. Yeah. Mark Antoine Fortune Cookie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, a Claire Ambrosia. We've had that already. Uh, move, do you want to move on to Jim? Kyle Newgart. That's good. One. Kyle Newgarten. <laughs> oh, dear. Kyle Norton. Norton. Newgarten. And Bappe Hattrick. Hmm. Dude's a Baller. Thanks for the Man like Mbappe. Uh, Jim at Jimbo LUFC. Yeah. He's gone for Fred Velvet Cake. Okay. Yeah. Red Velvet. <laughs> Riziki's Toffee Pudding. Riziki's, Riziki's Toffee, Toffee Pudding. pudding. <laughs> yes. I am having that. Uh, and Schlupside Down Cake. That's <laughs> wicked as well. <laughs> Schlupside Down Schlupside Down. That's quality. He's awesome. Um, this is your guy. Randy Shafter. <laughs> yes. Uh, Lauren Blancmange. Blancmange? Blancmange, yeah. Blancmange. Lauren Blancmange. We've got, I don't even know, what's this? Coq and Boucher. Coq and Boucher? Is that right? Where? Coq and Boucher? Coq Who's and that? Bouche. Coq and Boucher? Yeah. What's a Coq and Boucher? <laughs> dessert. That sounds like a dessert. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like something completely different. <laughs> Coq and Boucher. Uh, and Cash Brownies. Hmm. Cash brownies? Yeah. What? what? <laughs> hash brownies? You get it, you must get that. Yeah, but hash hash brownies. <laughs> Breakfast, mate, hash browns. <laughs> <laughs> you do love uh, Oh dear. You're you're too in tune with McDonald's to uh, to know that hash browns. Can't beat be a Mac- can't beat a Mackey's, mate. <laughs> right. Oh. I know my favourite. Hang on, I've got a couple on Instagram. I need to go. Oh yeah, go on. Do the. Otherwise, they'll get up. They'll get upset. Right, uh, Roberto the pro. He's come with Juan Bata. He's got Toss Barkley. What? Rafa cake. I think he's gone more pancakey. Oh, pancakes! <laughs> roll call. Oh, imagine we didn't do the Instagram. We would have done Ooh, a roll call. Yeah. Right, first one to type pancakes wins a hoodie. <laughs> Quick, quick, quick. Yeah, he's definitely gone pancake. I was a bit lost with the first couple. But hey, Lion's Head. Wow, oh, man, you live in South Africa, bruv. That cost us a fortune. Next. <laughs> Next one. Next one. <laughs> Anyone from South Africa can't win. Uh, <laughs> Connor Gin. She's come with Patrick Vianetta. We're bringing back. We're bringing back. It's, it's merchandise apartheid. We're not sending the stuff. <laughs> Merchandise apartheid. <laughs> we put the party in apartheid, my friend. You're not getting your stuff. <laughs> uh, FPL manager. He's gone with uh, chocolate mousse. Oh, okay, yeah. He's got uh, ice cream martial. Yeah. 
What? <laughs> and banana split. <laughs> what? Right. Banana split. <laughs> yeah, Bo. Who's the player? Banana. Who's banana? Banana. Look what you done started. Throw the boy meets world thing up again. Just keep it. Just keep it there for me. Um, we got Cruyff turnover. Egg pads. Chris. And uh, Jack Goodwin's got cheese cake. Cheese cake. Cheese cake. Cheese cake. He's got Zahagen Diaz. Zahagen <laughs> Diaz, yeah. And uh, chur- churros. 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 As in Rose, Danny Rose. Churros. churros. Let's see. I was checking you know what churros was. <gasps> I know what churros is. <laughs> melon. It's not a melon. Do you know what a melon is? <laughs> no. I do, actually. They don't serve those at McDonald's. <laughs> right. right what's your what's your fave then my favorite i don't like and there are it's so difficult there's so many good ones this week but i think i'm gonna have to go i mean i love alabama rang yeah but i think i'm gonna have to go something about it it's my 90s vibes as well yeah i'm gonna have to go profiterule fox <laughs> just tickles me do you know what I'm not even going to make it a competition this week because that's my favourite as well. Is it? Yeah. Well, in the interest of fairness, pick one other. No. <laughs> Honourable. Okay. Flancesco Totti. Yeah, that was good as well. I like that. Like that tickled me. Scorchy has one. Oh, I don't know. James is having a little think about this one. They're both good. <laughs> While we're waiting. Right, for final finish, bean. Then. Right, spin the wheel. Spin the wheel of beaniness. George Michael. Right. The orange one. What is it? Peach or bath again. Oh, no, that's the worst one. Uh, yeah, okay. What we had? Toasted marshmallow or stink bug? What colour? That's is that? the white with the brown spots. Stink bug. <laughs> Can you find it? Is it in there? Can only find one. Just pick a random one. All right. All right. Just pick what a random. Oh, it's just white. It's on the floor. Right, I'll donate to at PL South Africa follower. Has he got any? Right, you ready? Yeah. Cheers. Final bean. It's not a good one. Oh, mine's coconut. It's not a good one. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I don't like coconut, but I like it more than bath. <laughs> what's yours? What's yours? What flavour is it? I don't even know, but it's just you look like you're having a stroke. Your face has dropped. Your left arm's droopy. <laughs> oh dear, Ashley. Oh, they're awful. Right, so Flancesco Totti from Ash. Or Profiterule Fox from Nick. Is it a green pepper or a red tomato? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Profiterule that. Fox. That's a, that's a worthy winner. FPL Noble Gem, well done. Again, I think that's his second win this season. Yeah, he's very had, good. There's a couple of him. So, yeah, awesome pick. Guys, once more, just a reminder if you are not already subscribed, one, why what aren't are you? you doing, Muppet? Two, send a screenshot of that subscription if you are subscribed already to ash at fplgeese.com and you could win the PS5. Like it, subscribe to it, mm-hmm. share it with your friends, yep. get everyone involved in this channel. Do it. We've also got merch available on the fplgeese.com website now. Yep. So if you want to be kitted out like Ash, don't worry, we're not selling those crappy Luton shirts on there, but we He's, are selling those nice you lot, hats. You lot ain't worthy of wearing this sort of top anyway. No one has ever <clears throat> bought a Luton Town Football Club shirt. I notice how you're plugging merch, we're not wearing any. Well, it's because you keep giving it <laughs> oh, away. Oh, he is now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. You keep giving it away to all your friends and family, so we haven't got any. Well, that's, that's the problem. Yeah, but they 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 need it, man. I'm just like I'm like Santa Claus, mate. I just got. You're hook like them up. you're like you're like Marcus Rashford of the clothing. Yeah, line. mate. I got to just I got to hook everybody up. I got to fight for what's right. You're doing airdrops and looting. <laughs> There's crates. Drone drone drops, mate. Crates with with uh, parachutes like worms back James. in the day are dropping into. Looting. James Twiddy, That's about. 10 minutes too late, bro. Where have you been? Pancakes. <laughs> nice pod tonight, chaps. Missed most of it, but hopefully it was great. Well, <laughs> toss pot. Do you know what, Chris? Absolute 
toss up. Do you know what, Chris? You can watch it back. <laughs> Do not worry. You can watch it back in your own time. <laughs> you don't have to be live, but as long as you watch it at some point, it's all good. That's brilliant. Thanks for watching, um, guys. Really appreciate you tuning in again. Yeah, cheers. So we'll see you next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, literally. 8.30. Join us. Live have a and good interactive one. again. Good luck with the last couple of games. Yeah, good luck, guys. Take care. Stay juicy. Bye. Bye.